The Amateur World League 2023 season is presented by Grow, the new place to get great. Host tournaments for free, set up scrims and earn more at gorilla.gg. The 2023 season is also brought to you by NYXP, your new gaming sanctuary. AWL players have access to discounted rates at the NYXP Land Center in Kingston, New York. AWL stats are presented by LobbyUp. Connect with LobbyUp for esports tournament ad mining today. Now, it's time to continue with our Major 1 qualifiers. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the AWL stream. My name is Cynical and I'm going to be joined by Melodic. Yeah, how you guys doing? Sadly, we got some unfortunate news from Scump today that he's going to be retiring, and we're going to check out his retirement speech real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> What's good, Gabe? You came? I can't believe you fucking came! Horrible's here too! Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, this is this house is all right. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. It's cool, I guess. It's cool. Could everybody please come over? It's time. I'm nervous. <laughs> Everyone, come around the come around the island if you could. Just wherever. Yeah, I'll, I'll go all over here. Thank you for coming, everyone. That's what I saw. Just, just a good intro. All right, first off, yes, thank you all for coming. It's a very big day in my career. All I've known for the last 14 years of my life, uh, some of you may know this, my competitors, my fellow competitors, it's all I've known, it's all we've known for a very long time. Coming into the year, I didn't know what to expect. I mean, we were running it back with the team. Honestly, high expectations, people expected a lot out of us. Things fell short, it happens, that's part of competing. Been on Optic for a majority of that time, and I've had the support of all of you in this house today. Uh, I couldn't thank you all enough. I mean, 
looking around, sorry, looking around, it's, it's really hard for me um, just because I have had a crazy amount of support throughout my whole career, um, not only by fans, but by everyone here, so thank you. Uh, to all my old teammates, thank you. Uh, you guys really have molded me into the person that I am today, and it means a lot. I mean, I've learned so much through the, the bad decisions, the good decisions. It really has taught me a lot in my life. And this is just the booze while I'm crying. <laughs> uh, this organization has always been like family to me. I mean, Hector has cultivated that since day one, and I appreciate that. I've known a lot of y'all for a very long time. I mean, Ray winged me from the start, literally made my career what it is. Um, yeah. Um, and I've continued to grow stronger and stronger along the way with the bumps, with everything again, good decisions bad decisions, it's all added up to now. I've obviously never found myself in a situation like this. Um, I'm a little nervous and apprehensive for the future, but I'm also excited on top of that. Content's always been something that I've wanted to do personally. Um, with the CDL and how high things are nowadays, like, you know, like, it's hard nowadays to do content. So. Content on top of competing is, is really hard just because of how high the competition is. Um, it's just hard, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, but Thankfully, with the with the great team that I had, Ant being there, um, and the addition of Brandon back, I hope people are happy with the new roster at the very least. Uh, I think you guys are going to be absolutely disgusting. And after seeing Kyler and you as a sub duo with the pacing, it was kind of an easy decision. Like, I'm not I'm not like that. Like, I'm not fast like that anymore. Like, these guys, they're just they're different, and it's it's a hard decision. Um, but bringing Brandon back made sense. Life's too short to hold grudges or be mad at each other. And I hope he uses this opportunity to be a good teammate. And Brandon, I'm going to be on your ass. Please use this opportunity well because, again, I'm falling down so you can go up. And I hope that, you know, I hope that you use this right. To Ray, Ender, Kyler, Ant, obviously, JP, uh, all my past coaches, everybody. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be supporting you guys till the end. You guys know that. I'm going to be rooting for you all. That's easy. Uh, you guys like family to me again, so I hope you guys do. You know, I hope you guys try. I really do. Uh, for the supporters that may be mad or upset at me and my decision, I'm sorry, but I promise I'll make it up. Um, I'll be attending events still and meeting people, which I really couldn't do being a player because obviously COVID. Uh, so now I'm going to be obviously meeting people, and we have other things in the works. Um, coming into the year, I was already on the fence about giving it another go, and I really thought that I could do it, but I overestimated my energy, and that happens, and I hope that y'all can forgive me, but again, I hope y'all fry. The support I've been given with so many decisions in my career is astonishing, and I hope this is no different. Thank you guys for the years of memory, the good and the bad, and here's to another chapter of my life, Greenwall for life, brick by brick, family. Cheers. 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 Congratulations, man. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Incredible Thank you. Incredible career. Ooh, I didn't think I was... Not a sad night. Turn that music on. Let's do this. That bro ain't got me tearing up. Got me tearing up, bro. Oh, man. I didn't think I was going to cry. You don't worry. You made me cry. Just hard, man. Welcome back, everyone. You know, I mean, that video, what a video. I mean, it just has some has some stuff in the heart. You know, Scum the Goat, what a career he's had, the impact he's had on so many people, everyone for Call of Duty. I mean, just the impact that Scump has had as a whole has just been insane. Yeah, definitely an emotional video, hard one to watch for sure. I know a lot of people got into Call just watching Scump, you know, seeing the videos. So definitely, especially for us in the casting, we're casting this for Scum. We're playing these matches for Scum today. Hopefully, we get a great series. Been have said a better Milo, but um, it looks like we're gonna head right onto the standing. Let's take a quick peek at them. Looks like Imperial uh, three and zero. They just had that forfeit to Grave United, but they're looking solid right now. But let's talk about the match today. Nola Flight against Dynamics. We know Nola Flight's in it two and zero. Dynamics at one and one. One of Nola Flight's wins was in fact against um, Element. That's gonna be Juju and Co. So definitely a huge win there. 
Yeah, so another looking really good. Seems like if they can keep up this 3-0 with Imperial trying to stay at the top of the league. Dynamics on the other side though, one on one, trying to stay mid table. And we look at the map and modes here. We got Hydro first map. We really Oof. do not see that a lot. So it's gonna be interesting to watch. Double hotel for the control and S and D, then embassy and fortress. Interesting mass for sure. You couldn't have said it better, but see how that cracks as we get into this uh, this match. But looking at our featured player, it's gonna be scared for Nola Flight. You know, he he looks really good stat wise. He looks really good. You know, I'm curious to see what he can do on the map today. Yeah, hopefully you can keep this up. You set 66.4 on S and D. Looks like a Ooh. huge game changer. And he really needs to keep this up, especially if they just beat um, Element. This is gonna be great from them. I'm excited to see what he can do. Yeah, but it looks like we're going to get into this match soon. But a few things I want to touch on real quick. Um, just uh, going back on the standings a little bit. Just keep in mind, the bottom four teams actually go into the loser's bracket for the majors. So definitely, you, you definitely don't want to lose these matches, especially early on. You want to make sure you win. Uh, hold your spot. So, um, But it looks like we're going to be uh, loading on into Hydro. Uh, you know, Hydro, it's not a map you see a lot, my love. I mean, it's, it's definitely interesting. Yeah, not at all, and I know you you love to hit these water routes. I want to see if anyone can capitalize on that. They can lock down this P2, maybe hit the flanks. Excited to see the, the playmakers we can see on this map. See how people hold, and we're going to run into this. The water routes is definitely going to be <laughs> insane. I mean, <laughs> water routes on this map is definitely like the, the thing that happens, but it looks like we're starting this match right on off. Looking at Prof here, look at hit his left side. It looks like he's going to go for an early like, mid hit. And he's got the uh, scar in hand. Let's see if he can find a pick here early on. That will go through two down uh, for the side of dynamics. Make that all four. Oh my gosh, kills going all through for Nola Flight. And it looks like they're gonna be holding these P2 spawns. Yeah, just you touched on the spawns. They have this lockdown. They got good side. And you see, I think that's number number five pushed off on the map. And that's gonna be Hoxie just creating problems. That's gonna be two for him. But you see an interesting play. You have exception right hitting down this left side of the map all the way in the back, looking to flip these spawns. P2, very easy to hold. Definitely a money hill, but that's great from Prof to spot that out. Read that. He's gonna pick up the scar guy, keep locking down these spawns, and they're doing an amazing job on this P1. Yeah, that's huge from Prof. He was able to sniff out uh, Exception trying to hit the flank, but Nullify, all his skills going their way. Look at Shotzi, 7, Shotzi, excuse me, 7 and 0. Oh, what a start from him as he is just roaming through these spawns. You know Prof is there to lock those P2 spawns, so Shotzi able to kind of do whatever he wants. Already has the cruise missile in hand. Is Nullify already on this P2. Lifestyle's going to find one on his skater, so maybe kind of opening things up onto the featured player there. But oh my gosh, Shots, Scott, Shotzi, that's definitely a tongue twister to say. You know, you think about Shotzi, but maybe he is Shotzi right now, 7. And one he's definitely uh, put on a show yeah definitely playing like shots here a lot as you saw that just that p1 he's getting pushed off their side but that's gonna be a big two and looks like dynamics gonna be pushing through we got polarized in the back trying to lock down he's gonna chow out he knows one player is there that's gonna be two down for dynamics and he looks like he's gonna get peaked by skater here skater's gonna get one and that's our highlight player gonna get traded out they're trying to flip these spawns back lockdown this time but even though they just dropped these spawns they have new lockdown they're already hitting that rotation but you have a huge player in the, those three trying to hit that right now yeah cosmic looking to grab this scrap for dynamic get some points on the board is nola up by around 40 right now heading into this p3 you see number three number one on the map exceptional lifestyle looking to hold this down but look at the back prop he's able to find one prop's been that floater this whole time prof is, with the help of shotzi gonna find another one shoxy oh my gosh that's gonna that's gonna haunt me this whole time milo but prof right now gonna be reflecting the plank it looks like as he's looking to find one on exception the kill does go through so nola flight holding for now but look at number four cosmic he's gonna try and roam in the back but oh prof god. oh my gosh huge kill there prof seven and two currently on a three yeah when you just look at the score but you know it's not always about kd but when you have these players off nola popping off like this it is so hard to get in this hill you gotta get these trades normally you see you're seeing two purple kills go nola fights way and then no trade to back it up you have one player that's another one going down that's gonna be a think four down they're gonna have one more time to flip these old but i think that's gonna be a flip so they're gonna lock down new again have these rotations that's gonna be three down skater our featured player he's going crazy in this hill right now trying to find anything he can while getting this scrap and that's gonna be great rotations from nola to lock down this new 
Yeah, one thing, you know, you don't see Hydro a lot, and one of the main reasons is because of how, like, unpredictable spawns can be. I mean, you look you look one way, and they're spawning literally where you're looking sometimes, and it's just, it's really crazy. But here comes the cruise missile from Shock as he is not going to go and hit, but the help with Aiden is going to go and get the kill there. So, Nola Flight with control on this P4 early, and just, it's just a slaying machine from Nola Flight. All four players doing their thing on the map. Prof and Shock leading the way at 11-2 and 13-3, uh, respectively. Oh my oh. gosh, Prof on exception. Huge kill there as Nola Flight had the game in total control. I mean, you just look at the confidence between these players. There's no way they are losing these gunfights when they're challenging this. They're going to be locking down. That's basically a full 60 unless they can try and break through. We have Lifestyle just sitting here, but Shox is probably going to get a name time. He's going to be running with a knife. He's going to back up, get that kill, lock down this scrap, and hopefully Dynamics can lock down one of these rotations. You have Aiden in the back, though. This could be the problem. This could be the playmaker to just break this. He's going to have all his... He's just going to be waiting for his team back here. As you see, we got three players on old trying to rotate new he's gonna be looks like the weird setup from Dyna dynamics though they have all players in hill as i say that though polarized is gonna get one grab a big kill right here that's gonna be top broken open let's see if they can get in this time yeah, you, you think dynamics, you almost have the hill in control, and but there's always a player, whether it be Prof or Aiden, they're always roaming on in, and that's going to be the clean break for Nola Flight, is exception, trying to find his way on in, shots going through on a Prof, but Prof is having none of these, going to disengage for now, but Shoxy on that hill, going crazy, and he is just roaming along with Skater, and they're playing so well right now, 30 seconds onto this hill, and Nola Flight can almost be at the 200 mark as we go back into this P1. I mean, this scoreline is crazy right now, and look, the water coming in, not gonna help him out, it's gonna be two down, but two down for both teams, looking like trying to bounce back, there we go, three, can they capitalize this, can they, can, can they try and pull off new, damn, look at all the kills right now, there we go, This what is this what we need from Dynamics, do we need these kills to start coming in, the trades start coming in, Skater on new, that's a great kill Ooh. by Cosmic, he's gonna get traded out though, and they're gonna be locking down this P1, it looks like, and P2 is gonna be going Nola's way if they can hold here. Yeah, and I think um, this way this match seems to be going in Nola Flight's way. I mean, pretty obviously. And uh, if you're the side of Dynamics, maybe try and cheat up a few hills. You know, maybe try and get some momentum going in search and destroy. I mean, obviously the map's not over yet, but it seems to be pretty much over. I mean, just look at the slaying department, Nola Flight. They are playing so well right now. Shoxy, I can't stop saying his name. He is being a nuisance right now. Every spawn he sees, he is on it. And look at this. Exception's gonna be able to find him though. So maybe the possible break. But I mean, Prof is there. Aiden is there, and the wall bank is coming on through. They just understand this game a lot more than Dynamics right now. They are feeling themselves and as 20 seconds left on this hill and you guys are thinking about p2 dynamics have spawns for now so hopefully they can hold these and maybe chain a few hills yeah dynamics have this for now but as we see how explosive these players have been i would not be surprised at all if they get this break and we're trying to get some of this p1 time polarize is most likely gonna die here hopefully you can try to get one he's gonna try and watch the p cross or the mid cross but look you have four players here that's gonna be two down the water route like water you're saying, from shoxy can he get this done 18 and 6 what a stat line he's gonna be almost drowning there he's gonna get one in exception he's gonna be pushing up oh my oh. god prof with the three piece and they're gonna get these spawns on this p2 you know if you're dynamics that's just gonna tilt you right there i mean shocks he hit the water out finds one and then the big boom from prof with the cruise missile able to find three he's on a six might double back up onto that cruise Cro cosmic gonna drop though to aiden as they're just holding so well and i, I feel like everything's going to nullify its way as we've elaborated on so many times aiden finding another kill on a polarized there shocks he's just gonna hold this time on down he's got a minute and 30 on hill i mean you look at dynamics the slaying department from them and just not looking so hot and with i mean look at this read from shocks i mean he just knows what's going on right now and Nola Flight just seem to have everything going their way. They only need six seconds. I think they're going to win it here. The only player left is Cosmic Kenny Chow. Oh my gosh, he's able to get the kill, but he's going to fall, and that's going to go Nola Flight's way. But there's one more player, and he's going to drop there to Aiden. I think that will be the map, but uh, looks like he does not want to get the tick, so <laughs> they're going to go to New, but they're already on it, and that's going to be the map win for Nola Flight. Yeah, and we're talking about that confidence just from the players here, but I also want to talk about just the awareness. To have that confidence to know where the child, aware of their surroundings, they always know. I mean, like, I, I just want to get a list on these comms. These guys got to be absolutely twisted in the comms. Everyone knows what they're doing. Everyone's super aware. They're taking these gunfights like they're winning them every single time, which they are. And look at that prof getting that three in the back. And you go and look at the dynamics, you really need to turn up the slang, especially when we see Skater, one of the, a very strong player in SD. Hopefully, they can turn this around.
Yeah, and you look at Nola Flight, I mean, they look so hot there. You, you go and uh, reflect on them kind of beating Element, you know, you, you know they have the potential, and we're definitely seeing it here early on against Dynamics, and I mean, that hard point. We did see a lot of water routes. I'm, I'm kind of bummed about that, but we saw a big one from Shoxy there at the end. I mean, he was able to hit a really nice one, able to get the job done there, but I mean, you didn't really have to hit water routes, right? I mean, I would like to see Dynamics maybe hit some more, you know, maybe try to find some more openings, some more opportunities, but you gotta, you gotta kind of use the map, because I know like for P2 a lot, you can hit that left side through the water, I mean, there's almost nothing they could do about it. When you're in the water, you're almost invincible. I mean, it's you're a hard kill if you're in the water, even if uh, you can't really shoot back very often. But I'm curious to see what happens going into search, the search and destroy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are on a hotel SD as well. And with how explosive these players have been, especially Shoxy, getting those opening picks, that's going to be great for them getting that bomb down. Maybe they won't even need to get the bomb down with how these guys are playing, how these guys are challenging. We look right here, we're gonna be 1-0 on Nola Flight, see if they continue this going to series. Dynamics, they really need to turn this around, get some momentum going, otherwise, this is not looking very good for them. Yeah, and touching on that search and destroy, once again, you mentioned it's gonna be in a hotel, I believe it is, so, hotel is definitely interesting, you know, I mean, there's a lot of opportunities there for both sides, but I feel like hotel is one of our more standard search and destroy maps, there's not a lot, you know, that can kind of go wrong on a team if you know your defense is working it's going to work because i feel like defense is so, super important in a hotel you know you can see teams go back and forth on defense and maybe once they win attack you know that's that's the momentum they need for the map but looking at dynamics going into this hotel search and destroy they definitely need to step it up all this in slaying department and maybe get some trades if possible they, they got to find some sort of momentum i know we saw them maybe chain up a few kills in that hard point so they were able to maybe try to get something going but i'm hoping they can try and transfer it over to the search and destroy and try and at least uh try to make something happen yeah and if you lose that hotel s and d then you have to spawn back into it for the control definitely something you don't want to do but if they do push this map where we have embassy and that map can get mixy i would love to see people like shoxy see what they can do on that type of map so a very interesting series going forward Hopefully we can see maybe a map four, maybe map five push the series, but no the fly the way they're playing right now, it's not looking too good. Yeah no uh actually we're gonna go to a quick intermission as we're waiting for players to go into this lobby, so we'll see you guys in just a moment. Yep. All right, welcome back, everyone. It looks like we're gonna be loading to the search and destroy in just a moment. But right before we do, I do want to touch on right before the intermission. I really wanted to talk about you know kind of the the map four, map five you'd mentioned, especially on the embassy. If uh, dynamics can maybe just maybe get the search and destroy win or the control win, then he's one of these maps. They, I, I'd say they definitely need it. And if they get the momentum from those, I mean, embassy hard point is just so back and forth. You never know what's gonna happen on the embassy hard point. I mean, anyone can pop off at any given time. Spawns can flip at any given at any given time. So I'm really looking for dy dynamics. Maybe just win this search, win the control. I mean, they're, they're still in this. I mean, even though the hardpoint was a blowout, they're still in this series. Yeah, we know Hydro anyway. Hydro is kind of a, a wild card map. We don't really sell often. And Embassy, like you're saying, like that map could go either way. Especially with the holds, we could see crazy comebacks. We could see the multiple chained hills. I'm very excited to see what they can do. Hopefully, they can push the map forward. But first, they have to get through this S&D and then the control. So, here we go. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot of maps to kind of get through, but it looks like we're we'll be loading on into the search and destroy. Or actually, excuse me, back <laughs> just a just a quick look at the maps one more time, just just so we're clear. You know, the vetoes, uh, both sides yep. for hardpoint, Mercado and Fortress. You know, maybe some of the more favorite hardpoint maps, but looks like they're going to be getting vetoed. I don't see any hotel uh, hardpoints. So that's that's uh, something that's interesting in my opinion. You know, you definitely expect that. But going into the search and destroy, uh, looks like uh, Nola Flight chose to veto Mercado. Uh, Dynamics chose to veto Elisilo. So you know, Elisilo is definitely uh, a veto for a lot of teams. Mercado definitely yep. veto. So nothing. So surprising there you know fortress snd for that map five so definitely a mixy map five if we can get there but i mean uh dynamics they gotta worry about this uh hotel snd first 
Yeah, they got both teams uh, vetoing Fortress as well, so it looks like teams really do not want to play that map. When we get to this map 5, we could definitely see some interesting plays coming out, some mixy plays. And also, which one touched on Dynamics uh, vetoing Hotel. Don't know if that's going to impact this match at all on this S and D, but I don't know if they really want to be playing this map, especially on that Hydro. Interesting to see if they, when they're going into this match, when the other teams didn't um, veto Hydro, like, damn, are we going to a Hydro right now? Or are they ready to play it? Is that map they'd like to play? Because from that map one really did not look like it yeah and honestly i'm curious who chose hydro because you know teams yeah. veto you, you don't really veto hydro because it's it's like a kind of an agreement like oh hydro's mm -hmm. we're not we're not gonna play hydro you know but you, you see every once in a while and that's definitely what we saw today i mean mm -hmm. I, I maybe nola did pick it you know and maybe dynamics did you know you because hydro is such a mixy map and we saw it there i mean spawns are flipping like crazy but somehow with even though the map was so like mixy uh we were able to see like nola flight lock things down but going back to highlight skater once again you know he was definitely kind of in the shadows that last map you know we saw shoxy and prof kind of step things up a lot but i mean he's still you know he's still a player to look at i mean the search and destroy rating is crazy you know his hard point rating is probably you know it's on the lower side you know of his resume but the search and destroy 66.4 rating that is a huge search and destroy rating and i'm so excited to see what he can do here yeah, Skater, I mean, you're talking about him coming in the shadow. It is hard to be at this, at, like, in the middle of the light when you have players popping off like they were doing in that first map. And yeah, going to that SD 66.4, this guy, it looks to be disgusting on Search and Destroy. I'm excited if we can see some crazy plays, some breakout plays from him. And it looks like we might be loading into this match, and we are Hotel. Very excited to see what these teams are going to do off break, if he's going to be setting the pace for this match. Hopefully, we can see um, Dynamics coming out and starting off on. Rainberg Hotel got 11, probably, you know, the favorite map, I mean, I've, I would say throughout the whole community, you know, it just goes well for every mode, it's probably my personal favorite map, you know, it's, I feel like it's the most balanced, you know, it's good for arm only, good for search, good for control, but I mean, I guess we're gonna get to see the search into control here, so, looks like we're gonna load into the search into the storm, see who attacks first, looks like it's gonna be Nola Fight on the attack, so, this is a huge round, Milo, I know, I know it's only round one, but if Nola Fight can win this round, they're gonna have so much momentum, so much momentum going into the defense. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about, just like, setting the pace on this first round, looks like gonna be a three just on this desk and shoxy he's gonna be look that's exactly what we we're talking before these players gonna be getting that pick gonna be getting aggressive and he's gonna do exactly that he has the whole entire b site to himself and now you just have your other players of nola kind of just waiting for a play call one if they rotate that's gonna be another one down shoxy i mean it's just a lone man he's doing everything by himself it looks like though interesting that nola oh you got a little tk there i wonder if that was on the accident i'm guessing it was but it looks like the players are finally gonna hit this rotate we're gonna have number seven kind of just staying in this mid looking for this pick on couch really peak he's able to find one so one goes down it's gonna be prof so it's gonna be a 2v2 you know the tk from nola i'm not sure you know if it was maybe on the little cocky side you know maybe maybe kind of feeling themselves that they let shoxy kind of go rogue he's got three and it looks like lifestyle could be the last one up for dynamics aiden with the knife can he find him here 26 seconds to go on bomb it looks like they're gonna meet each other in just a moment but lifestyle playing it slow not giving him anything even though they have their knives out it is not looking like that on the other side of dynamics but he's able to find one at aiden so here we go 1v1 18 seconds to go he's got to deal with shoxy yeah, I mean, this guy, these guys are just running around on the map. It looks like they are just taking this easy, gonna be getting this done. That's a nice little win for them, playing the time. And you really have Shoxy just doing everything on that map, getting two solo on B. That is just amazing work from him. And then when the bomb is down like that, Lifestyle cannot really do anything, even though you got those picks. Good job, though, playing that couch, whoever that was. I'm pretty sure that was Polarized, who was just sitting couch, playing patient, not falling for the bait, as bomb did not go down B for a while. But now we have Dynamics. What can they bring on this attack? Do they get shut down instantly? Yeah, I mean, Nola Flight just, they, they did exactly what we said. I mean, what we thought was going to happen. They just brought so much heat. I mean, they didn't really have to do anything. They sat three reception and let Shoxy kind of go rogue and do his thing. I'm not sure if maybe that was a little bit on the trolley side, but regardless, I mean, it worked out. It worked out well. Looks like exception though on the side of Dynamics. They're going to pick a bomb. Looking to favor this A site for now. Shoxy looking to hit a route through this B for now. But going back to this A site exception. Gonna be playing here with the stub. Interesting spot there. If maybe he can find his pick on the skater and bottom bed, but skater just watching the cross right now, giving him nothing. And it looks like all four white arrows for dynamics are gonna be circling around this A. Yeah, and that's just kind of a rough spot to be in right there. It looks like he's gonna be trying to get this bomb down. That's two gonna be down. And we have Skater bringing out the snipe. And oh my god, this guy's flying up top. Lifestyle's gonna get one. Not gonna get the second prop. Goes for the pre fire, almost gets it, but he's gonna get help from his team as his one shot. And that's a perfect round from Nola. Get the two picks and then just clean up the rest. 
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward search and destroy from Nola Flight. I mean, they're just getting the fix. I mean, I feel like they're even having a little bit of fun with it. You saw, I, I'm not sure who that was. It might have been Aiden, I'm not too sure, though. He just dove on out, you know, just let his team <laughs> deal with them. I mean, maybe a little bait, maybe it's a strat. I don't know. I mean, whatever it was, though, everything is going Nola Flight's way right now. Shoxy 4 0. We know he got streaked so early on in the Hydro. Let's see if he can do it in this search and destroy as well. Yeah, what we're talking about mid-map, him just playing super aggressive and getting these picks. He's going to be going B again, just solo. They might be running the same exact strat, just putting all their faith into Shoxy, saying, yo, get this done, we're just going to chill here, give us the play call. If he gets the pick, I'm wondering if they do go for this B next time, and he's going to be going in the chow. I mean, that's just unfortunate, he's going to throw the stun out, and he's just going to go for the chow as soon as you see that. He's on a 5 right now. One more, he gets that streak, and looks like this going to be sitting in on, oh my god, whoever that is, except. He just got to walk into three Nola players. Nothing you can do there. And Shoxy, instead of playing this B, he's gonna be trying to play this mid. Look what he can find. Hopefully, they can try and get this bomb down. It's another pick for him. He's gonna be hitting this back. Yeah, and it's just here on the side of the dynamics. You just look so lost right now. They don't really know like what's going on. You know, Shoxy is around the B site. Why not look over there? They're too busy trying to hold the A cross. I mean, I feel like they're a little confused. Nola Flight, they sat through Exception. You saw, uh, I, I don't know who it was. I think it was either Exception or Polarized. They, they kind of rushed on into that uh, that statue area, and they definitely regretted that as soon as they turned that corner because three Nola Flight guns uh, shooting right back at them. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, it's just so hard to counter when you just have this one guy in shocks. He's 7-0, and oh, just having his way on the map. This guy can do whatever he wants, and he's going to have that cruise just chilling whenever he needs it, if they even do need it, to be honest. And the defense looks like they're going to be four stacking this B. Very interesting. I don't know if they're going for this counter strat or if they're going to hit all the way through, going for a retake. And there you go, and you see on the other side, they just have a full take on A. Counter strat did not come in, though. So there's going to be four players just sitting there. And let's see if they can go over this retake very interested to see how dynamics play this see if they can keep composure yeah, and it's almost like an invisible line was kind of drawn in the middle map. One team went A, one team went B. But all of Nullify can be hitting this back here. Polarize turns at the wrong time. Is two players going to get through the statue? And two players going to be in the back. Shoxy able to find one. Eight, no right now. Can he find a second on a Cosmic? No, Cosmic's going to drop. But so many purple arrows are all surrounding. They're swarming this area. Except he's going to find one. It's going to be a 1v2 as Shoxy goes down. It's going to be all up to lifestyle as he is going to drop by the two-piece of Aiden. Oh my gosh. Aiden taking a little trot, a little victory trot as He's making his way to the bomb. That is Nola Flight 4 0. And it's just, you know, Milo, you just see those purple arrows and they're just swarming. I mean, everywhere that Dynamics is, Nola Flight is there with double the people, double the firepower. And Nola Flight is just playing such good search right now. Yeah, I mean, just look how they play. Even though they might be trolling a little bit, the Dolphin Dive just baiting this guy out. He has three people to deal with, and everyone's just flying across. He can't even focus to get bullets on anyone. I think where your dynamics, you just gotta try and get more tradable positions. A lot of times, people are just getting picked, and nothing can be done about it. You just have so many players in the back, and there's getting so many untraded kills that it's really impossible, especially with Shoxy. When he's just running at you like that, you really need to deal with him, get him traded, and that's just, I think that's really the main problem with dynamics right now. Yeah, maybe Nola Flight, maybe starting to take things a little more serious as it looks like they want to get this over with. It's going to be 2-2 trade across the board. It's going to be Skater and Prof looking up against Exception and Polarize as it looks like Bomb going down A. But look at number two, Skater on the map. He's going to be pushing in his spine. He's going to find one. Can he find the second in the back? He's got the knife in hand. He's going for it. He's going to drop the Polarize though. So 35 seconds. Polarize has plenty of time here with the scar in hand. Looks like they get the sub as well. So he's got two guns to choose. And look at Prof right now. He's just sitting back on this A. I think, I'm not sure if he's prone. He's, yeah, he's just prone in a little cheeky spot right now. So, you know, if you're on the side of Polarize, I don't think you're expecting this. As I, I don't think he can even see anything. The trophy comes through, and it, it looks oh like he's going to be sitting in the trophy. 15 seconds ago, I don't even know. Polarize can't even see him. Oh, my gosh. Polarize. No way that oh, just oh works. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> God. This guy. That, I mean, that is what a play from him. He just knows how to blend in with the trophy. Look at this. This is just top-tier plays. And you have Prof just getting the kill. Polarize, I mean, this guy doesn't even know what he's looking at. Where do you even look at when you have a guy sitting inside a trophy? That is crazy from Nola. I mean, it worked out. And you just look at this. Nola are really just trying to embarrass these guys. They th they're just having fun with it, messing around, doing whatever they want. They know they have this series in the bag. And hopefully, we can see Dynamics try and like, flip this around on the control. Let's see if Nola can close it out first, though. Yeah, and that trophy system was crazy. I can't stop thinking about that. He set it down and was actually in it. And for some reason, Polarize did not see him in there. I, I don't know how. I don't know how he didn't see him. But it looks like Nola Flight looking to close this on out as Joxy popped the cruise missile bomb going down on A. Prof, though, with the nade. He's going to find one. 
all players for dynamics are exposed to the cruise missile as nullify do know are uh, they all are aware of all their positions as skater now get a little aggressive gonna find one that is our featured player in this uh series as he's currently going four and two lifestyle though gonna find one maybe try to give dynamics uh you know a little bit of momentum here is cosmic versus skater right now in this p4 area and skater gonna go for it. able to find one on cosmic it is all a lifestyle and he will drop nola flight get the win 6-0 and oh my gosh milo what a performance well, I mean, that is just 6-0. That's easy for Nola. They play that so well. And, I mean, for the most part, this attack, it was basically a 1v4 the whole time. You had Shox just running, or Shoxy just running at them on that B-side solo. I didn't even see that Aiden, or Aiden E, however you say his name. I'm sorry for mispronouncing that if I am. Can he get the knife kill? And, I mean, Nola, what can you really say about that? That's a top-tier performance. Yeah, and I just see, you know, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, Nola just have everything going their way. Clearly, they came more prepared. Clearly, they have, you know, more talent. I mean, maybe, maybe not more talent, but just more momentum going their way. And just dynamics just can't find anything. I mean, that just what, I mean, what a search and destroy. What a horrible performance. But looking back at the maps and modes, possibly for the last time in this series, hotel control. You said it yourself, Milo. If um, if dynamics lose on this uh, hotel, it's indeed. They have to load back on up on it for the control. I'm curious to see kind of what you're thinking here. Yeah, I mean, they got to be so demoralized right now. They have to try and um, run this back, try and gain their momentum. It looks like we might be going to the intermission right now, so I'll catch you guys in a bit.
way. Yep. The, the game on. Okay, right. well, if you guys can now hear us, and we're going to talk about that those comms, if you guys did hear, I mean, these guys in NOLA, they are just having fun. These guys are talking about sub-cheese. These guys are... Okay, yeah, if we want to, we can go back for another listening for NOLA, just so you guys, you guys can hear what we just heard, because, oh my god, these guys are having fun, so we're going to... He's in <laughs> kitchen! He's in yeah, kitchen! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> spawn them, Charlie, spawn them, Charlie, please. No. Please spawn them, Charlie. No. Hey, Fine. Right Dead. Spot him, Charlie. Charlie. Please, please. At one please. shot. Please, spot him, Charlie. Him. Stay right there, spawn. Spawn they're, him in they're there. They spawn kitchen, bro. I just watched Actually, this. they're spawning kitchen. <sighs> oh, oh, he's here. I heard him. <laughs> nice. Eight. One. Uh, one again. He's wine. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, I mean, I'm glad we went back to the listeners so you guys all hear that. That was just so funny, but unfortunately, Milo's Wi-Fi has dropped, so it looks like it's going to be all on me right now. Definitely unfortunate thing to see, but don't worry, I got this. It's Skater right now. Going to be looking at these couches right now, 10 seconds left. I think this is going to be it anyways. I mean, they only have set six seconds to go. It's pretty much a wrap. Prof can get a TK. They're just having fun going back to those listeners. Oh my gosh, it just seemed like they're having such a fun time, and the clock's going to hit zero. Nola Flight. 3-0 the uh, control, 3-0 the series, and oh my gosh, Nola Flight just so dominant throughout the whole series. And I mean, it just it's pretty straightforward. I mean, Nola Flight, they just had the guns from the start. Going into the Hydra, I mean, such a good map for them. Going back to the, you know, the Hotel Search, and another good map is 6-0. And just everything looked to be going their way as they continued through the, you know, through the control. And they were able to finish things out. And um, I mean, just, just, I mean, a crazy series from Nola Flight. I mean, 3-0. Uh, I'm curious to see, you know, what, what more we can expect from them. Can they hang with, you know, some of the top teams, like, you know, Imperial and stuff? I mean, I definitely believe they can. I think these are, you know, this is one of the top teams in the league because they're just performing so well. But, you know, the question marks kind of lay around, you know, dynamics. Like, are, are they going to be able to get some momentum? Are they going to be able to, you know, kind of find their footing? You know, as I mentioned earlier, bottom four do, you know, they start in loser's bracket for the major. So you really don't want to be in the bottom four. I mean, the loser's bracket, you only get one chance. You don't get, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to have the, the momentum from the get go, and if you don't, I mean, unfortunately, you know, your your run's gonna end. But I uh, just, I don't really know what else to say because the flight just looks so dominant. Going back to the maps and modes, uh, one last time, uh, a little quick series reflection of the hydro went Nola flight's way. I believe is around 250 to like, I mean. Interview. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, let's go for a quick interview. Glad to have you all in here. Uh, great, great series, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, my my duo Milo's is um his Wi-Fi didn't end up dropping, but I'm I'm super uh, glad to have you guys all in here. But I mean, we, we went into those comms. I mean, those were definitely uh you know those are fun. I mean, you know the vibes seem pretty good, you know. But I'm just curious, you know, because I um what was your guys' like thoughts going into a hydro because. You know, me personally, I never see Hydro. Like, it's something that, you know, I, I never play, you know, because everyone vetoes it or just doesn't pick it. Like, were you guys, like, kind of shocked on that? Uh, yeah, that was, well, first, that was our first time playing it as a team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, to be fair, uh, just for uh, stream's sake, uh, yeah, uh, Dynamics picked that map. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I mean, maybe Dynamics <laughs> was trying to pull one on you guys. Maybe, you know, the water yeah. routes, you never know how it can go. But, I mean, definitely interesting uh, map choice, to say the least. But, I mean, you guys all played so good. I mean, there's, I don't even really know a single player to highlight. I mean, Prof, you were going huge in the spawns. You know, Shoxy, you were crazy. Uh, everyone, you just played so well. But, I mean, just kind of, did any guys have anything you want to say? Because I know you guys are sitting at 3-0 and with that win. You know, you guys kind of, you, obviously, you're, you're in the upper on the standings. You guys are looking really good as a team. But do you guys maybe have anything you guys want to say? Um, or not a few words. Think. What happened? We're doing this for Scump, man. That's all I know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And, uh, we'll see ya. We'll, we'll see you next week, Kanwa. We want Juju in playoffs. <laughs> Sounds like some shots coming on in, <laughs> but it looks like my mel melodic, you're finally back. Oh, we're getting into a quick interview with these guys. Uh, I'm curious to see, do you have any questions for them? I mean, they close out the 3-0. It was a, in a very fashionable way. I mean, very fancy. You know, comms are fun. But uh, Milo, do you have any questions? Yeah, I'm currently on my hotspot right now. But I just want to know, like, what was, especially Shoxy, what were, what was going on? You look like you're just flung to the map so easy for you. I mean, they're what, just not punishing I mean, what, us. What was your game plan just coming in? 
Yeah, they, they just, I mean, no disrespect, they just don't shoot back. Just run around. Just when my gun fights for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I I hate to throw shade on other players. I mean, they definitely got some work to do, and you know they're in here doing this now, and I'm sure they scrim just as much as we do. I but, carry uh, shot, God. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But I uh, carry him. You know, well, they just got to keep working at it and uh, just come back with some passion. Fair enough. I mean. Sounds good for you guys. I mean, you guys are looking great going into this uh, next, you know, your your future, your next match, your next series going into the major. Uh, I want to thank you guys for your time. Great series today, and uh, I hope you guys all have a great night. Yeah, you as well. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you guys. For scum. Love the streams. Hashtag for scum. For scum. Yeah. yeah for th scum. Thanks for the gameplay. Skitter might be the next <laughs> scum. <laughs> the clan tag. It shows the time. It was definitely uh, influential, but... Um, I think that is going to go and wrap things on up. Um, I appreciate everyone going tuning into the stream. Um, Milo, it's been a pleasure. We had a great series there. Nola Flight with the 3-0. You know, I mean, there's not much more to say. Is I'm, I'm really excited to see what they can do in the future. Yeah, I apologize for the camera for this last like, five minutes. But yeah, here is the camera. Um, you guys have a good night. And, um. you know, maybe next time we can get back. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't worry, Milo. Now. Yeah, I for sure, bro. Now. Yeah, for, for sure, Milo. The hot spot. <laughs> the hot spot's definitely not the move. The hot spot's definitely not. The I'm move. wet. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> all right, I think it's gonna, that's gonna go and wrap things up here at the AWL. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. I hope you guys all have a great night. Foot race is on. Peace out. Can like sell. Absolutely dominate Battalion as not only are they both in points, but the KD ratio element, they have come to play in the grand finals because Lola Flight, you are already cut off by Mirage. You have one more shot at this hill, but you are cut down by Teski. Look at the snipes out of prop. He's not just Mirage with the sniper. Maybe we'll get Whoa. something nice. There it is. Able to clip one. It's gonna be really guilty there, but there's Mirage.